Hi, my name is Kurt Asplund and this is my studio. Well, today I'm going to show you how to draw an old teapot. Now this teapot has many cracks in it. It's blue and one of the cracks fell out and we have a little creature that lives inside of our teapot. I think you're going to love it. Let's jump in the studio and get to drawing. Okay, we're going to get started here. Let's start off with uh, a horizon line, or in a sense, this is the top of our table. We're going to draw a large oval shape. It's, this is just a shape at this point. And we're going to draw an opening to the right for our spout. Now this is the top of our spout and we want to make sure it is much skinnier. And then we're going to draw our top of our teapot and then our little knob. And let's go ahead and grab um, our handle here. It's like, it's like a C, like a letter C. All right, this is the top part of our C, and then we're going to do a little trick here, an overlap, and that will make the top of the handle look like it's coming down on top of the rest of it. Let's get our opening in here now, and I'm going to create some contrast by creating a jagged edge on one side and then the smooth side next to it. Whoa, hey, if you're liking this video, make sure you subscribe right now below so I can keep making more. You got this. When we're drawing things, if we keep this in mind of having contrast, it makes our drawings far more interesting. I'm going to have our mouse body come in and I'm going to uh, put the little nose in and I'm going to shift the nose slightly to the left and that will make it look like he's peeking out. There's one ear, a few hairs and then a second ear just peeking, peeking around the corner there. Adding some whiskers. Just darkening a few lines here. All right, let's get our spout in. Just connecting this. This is almost like an elephant's nose. Darkening in my lines. The spout is overlapping this far side of the teapot. So if if you've gotten this far, you've actually pretty much solved this. Uh, all I'm doing now is just darkening my, in the lines, and I'm going to add decoration. Add a couple extra little details like the thickness of the teapot. A couple spider webs, so it's a teapot that has been around for quite some time. couple cracks, some surface lines. And there you go. That is our mouse in a teapot. Feel free to freeze it, to pause the video, to uh, before we end it off, to get some final details, but uh, 
I think you did a great job and we will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I do appreciate it. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.